Hey, I want to share with you one of the cool new projects I've been working on, uh, at least the start of it. Um, the rest of it's coming as a class project, actually, later this term. Um, but uh, back in September, I ventured up to Massachusetts for HPEC conference for my research here um, at UF, but then I also decided uh, to meet up with some friends at the MathWorks. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, the MathWorks makes MATLAB which, and Simulink, which just about every engineer uses at some point in their career. Um, so after meeting with them uh, and telling them about some of the cool stuff that I've been working on, uh, mainly with LEGO robots and uh, amateur radio and stuff, um, they started asking me you know, if I'd like to collaborate with a project with them. Uh, with Orlando Maker Faire only a couple weeks away, it seemed like a really, really cool way to leverage MATLAB um, with some of the uh, cool work that I've been already doing. Um, so MATLAB, or the MathWorks sent me down some parts uh, and some uh, software to get me started. Um, and basically we have a Simulink model running on an NXT. Um, that we're then talking to my computer um, over Bluetooth, and then it interacts. So uh, let me dig into uh, showing you how it works. Um, I'm going to cut away here from this video, uh, but then you'll start to see um, sort of the, the different pieces working together. Unfortunately, I can't replicate a true live demo here um, just because I don't have the proper lighting required. It was actually quite an act of God to get the lighting to work at Orlando Maker Faire, but uh, this will at least walk you through what the MathWorks provided and give you a little bit of a teaser on where I'm going next. Okay, so what you're seeing in this first video um, is from the overhead camera. Uh, the overhead camera tracked all the robots, and as you see as I move them, it identifies the colored pattern. Um, it doesn't quite identify all of them, and it isn't pretty consistent, as you can see. Again, that's the lighting issue. Um, but what it's trying to do is it's trying to figure out where the robots are um, in space as I move them around. Again, uh, just because I didn't have the lighting quite right, if uh, it didn't have a position, uh, it didn't update their states, and they would just start moving in uncontrolled ways. So I ended up moving them here, as you can see, my hand bouncing around. Um, but basically, it's looking for each pattern, and on the robots, uh, the patterns are unique. Um, so like I said, Matt, the MathWorks already provided this software, so it was really just turnkey uh, getting this up and running. Okay, so now if we dig into uh, some of the Mat, uh, MATLAB code running, um, as I move those robots, as you just saw, um, it's finding them and updating uh, their positions, at least in the MATLAB model, um, or where it thinks it is. Um, I'm actually moving them a lot more than you see in this picture, and you can see them kind of jump. It doesn't smoothly move, um, as we quite hope. And again, that's uh, a lighting issue. Um, ideally, what the robots are going to do, if I was to actually run the code, is form that triangle. As you can see, that blue triangle, they'd be at each point of it um, within that little workspace. Um, but what you see here is actually um, those patterns being tracked and each one of those robots is identified as unique and is given sort of a go-to point um, based on that, uh, based on this triangle there. Um, the pink dot that you see there is actually where I could start clicking with my mouse and that's just where I clicked last. Um, and that would actually instruct the triangle where to draw. Um, so you can actually have some control over where these robots move. Uh, so it's pretty cool to just, you know, see everything interacting. Um, but again, they aren't moving. I'm actually moving them here. You just can't see it. Okay, so here are the two images running side by side. Um, just for comparison, you can see MATLAB there right in the background. Uh, the error that you see popping up is just at dropping frames. It's nothing to really worry about. Um, but what you can see is that I don't have a consistent lock, and as I move them, there's quite a bit of delay before it updates. Uh, naturally, this isn't uh, the best way to run a robotic system, um, but as if this was in better lighting, the robots would be moving around and drawing their triangle. And like I said, this is exactly what uh, the MathWorks provide me as sort of a baseline of where to start um, and begin an interactive demo that would kind of showcase MATLAB running on the NXTs, um, as well as uh, you know some of the work that I've been doing um, on my own uh, here at home. Okay, so this uh, gets pretty cool. This is um, a little teaser of where I'm going. But imagine if you have one or more robots, um, and someone comes along and draws a black line on the screen. Uh, wouldn't it be cool to follow that line? Stay tuned, and I'll tell you more how. Okay, so now you can kind of see what I've been working on and what the MathWorks provided and getting up and running. Um, 
adding the uh, line tracking is going to be a, a cool feature that I've uh, already added to the demo, uh, but that's for another video. I'll dive into that and do a lot more detail um, around the class requirements as well. I'm actually in an image processing class, uh, so I'll be showing uh, that for uh, class credit as well later in the term. Um, but I sort of added upon the demo. Um, you can make it work with one robot. You could do it potentially with more. Um, potentially all three robots interacting in the same environment, um, trying to follow that line. And rather the user clicking, uh, you can start to see uh, the robot's triangle start to move in that shape. Um, I thought it'd be a really, really cool demo of the Be Interactive for Kids. And actually, I had paper on the floor there. I wasn't drawn on my carpet. Um, but that's paper on my floor and uh, just a big old Sharpie marker. Um, and it can track different colors. It can track black, it can track uh, red, and it can track blue. And then the robots move around in that environment um, either independently or if you just uh, want to group them together, you could have them all group and follow the same line. So a few different options. Um, I'll go more into that tech, uh, how it works a little later. Um, but this is just an example of uh, you know what can be done with uh, MATLAB and Simulink uh, when it comes to uh, robotics and uh, my own little personal twist to it. Um, certainly a different way of line following than what most people are accustomed to. Um, stay tuned for more videos um, of projects of mine from the Orlando Maker Fair, um, as well as some of my other projects uh, with Amateur Radio and all that. We just got off School Club Roundup, and it has been one crazy week last week. Um, I have another cool uh, project coming along, actually leveraging uh, this little guy here, uh, BeagleBone, um, as well as a few others that will be coming. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but I'm going to sign off now, and uh, I hope you enjoy getting a little quick overview into how um, one of my Orlando Maker Faire projects uh, worked. And uh, I hope to see you all later.